Hello, I'm Carlos Russo Suarez and this is the CRS channel. We are going to continue with our calculus exercises and problems. We're going to continue where we left off last time. Okay, so we were uh, uh, working on this problem in which we uh, had a division in which the dividend was 10x to the fifth minus 11x to the third plus 30x squared minus x minus 7 and the divisor was 5x squared minus 3. So we had already uh, <coughs> found our first term for the quotient which was 2x cubed and that gave us uh, by multiplying 2x cubed by 5x squared minus 3, we had 10x to the fifth minus 10x to the fifth plus 6x cubed. Remember the change of signs due to the fact that we are subtracting. And then we, uh, after completing operations here, we had minus 5x cubed plus 30x squared minus x minus 7. So the second term of the quotient was minus x. So that minus x times 5x squared minus 3 will give us 5x cubed minus 3x. Remember that we're subtracting, so we have to change the signs. And completing operations, we were left with 30x squared minus 4x minus 7. So our next term for the quotient should be 6. So that's 6 times 5x squared gives uh, 30x squared or with a minus because we're subtracting and 6 times minus 3 should give us minus 18 but here we have a plus because again we are subtracting so this these two cancel out and we have minus 4x minus 4x and minus 7 plus 18 give us 11 okay so we are left with the residue of minus 2x plus 11. Our quotient is 2x cubed minus x plus 6. So that uh, 10x to the fifth minus 11x to the third plus 30x squared minus x minus 7 should be equal to, within parentheses, 5x squared minus 3 times, within parentheses, 2x to the third minus x plus 6. That should be added to minus 2x, minus 2x plus 11. Okay, so we can check this out. We can, uh, I'm sorry, minus 4x plus 11. And we can check out the result by uh, uh, multiplying and adding these two terms. Okay, so 5x squared minus 3 times 2x to the third minus x plus 6 will give us 10x to the fifth minus 5x to the third plus 30x to, uh, plus 30x squared minus 6x to the third plus 3x minus 18. We add this all up and that should give us 10x to the fifth minus 11x to the third plus 30x squared plus 3x minus 18. So now we have here the first three terms of the dividend. 10x to the fifth minus 11x to the third plus 30x squared. So what do we need to add to 3x minus 18 to obtain minus x minus 7? Well, we have to add minus 4x plus 11. So that when we add minus 4x plus 11, the 3x minus 4x gives us minus x, and minus 18 plus 11 gives us minus 7. Okay, so now we have finished this exercise. We go on to the next, which is the following. Division in which the dividend is x is 8x to the third plus 27y to the third. The divisor is 2x plus 3y. Okay, so first term of the 
quotient is 4x squared. 4x squared times 2x is 8x to the third with a minus because we're subtracting. 4x squared times 3y is 12x squared y with a minus because we're subtracting. A complete operation is here and we have and we're left with minus 12x squared y plus 27y third. Again, now, next term of the quotient is minus 6xy. Minus 6xy times 2x is 12x squared y minus 12x squared y with the signed with the sign changed. That is, we've changed the sign because we're subtracting. So we have 12x squared y. Uh, 6xy times 3y is 18xy squared with the plus here because we again we are subtracting so we have to change the sign that results from the multiplication of these two. So these two cancel out and we have we're left with 18xy squared plus 27y to the third. Now, our next term for the quotient is 9y squared, 9y squared, so that 9y squared plus 2x is 18xy squared, so that these two cancel out. 9y squared times 3y is 27y to the third. These two then cancel out. So that means that our quotient is 4x squared minus 6xy plus 9y squared, and our residue is 0. So that means that x, 8x to the third plus 27y to the third is equal to, within parentheses, 2x plus 3y times, within parentheses, 4x squared minus 6xy plus 9y squared. So if we multiply these two, then we have 2x times 4x squared is 8x to the third. 2x times minus 6xy is minus 12x squared y, which should cancel out with 3y times 4x squared, which is 12x squared y. And uh, 2x times 9y squared should cancel out, which is, I'm sorry, which is 18xy squared, should cancel out with 3y times 6xy minus 6xy, which is minus 18xy squared. So we are left only with 2x times 4x squared, which is 8x cubed, and 3y times 9y squared, which is 27y to third. Okay, now let's go to the next exercise of division, which we have as the dividend 4x to the fifth minus x to the fourth plus 12x to the third plus 2x to the squared plus x plus 5. Our divisor is 4x cubed minus x squared plus 1. Okay, so first term of our quotient is going to be x squared. x squared times 4x to the third is 4x to the fifth with the minus because we're subtracting. x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. Here we have a minus, but since we're subtracting, we write it with a plus down here. And uh, x squared times 1 is x squared with a minus because, we're, again, we're subtracting. So then we're left with 12x to the third. 2x squared minus x squared is x squared. x plus 5. OK, so our, our uh, next term for the divisor, uh, for the quotient is 3. 3 times 4x to the third is 12x to the third. 3 times x squared is 3x squared. And 3 times 1 is 3. So these two cancel out. x squared plus 3x squared is 4x squared. x, 5 minus 3 is 2. So our quotient is x squared plus 3. And our residue is 4x squared plus x plus 2 x squared plus x plus 2. 
so that 4x to the fifth minus x to the fourth plus 12x to the third plus 2x squared plus x plus 5 equals within parentheses 4x to the third minus x plus 1 times within parentheses x squared plus 3. Uh, all that uh, added to 4x squared plus x plus 2. Okay, so uh, this is x squared, sorry. This is 4x to the third minus x squared plus 1. Okay, so we can verify the uh, multiplication. We have 4x to the third uh, minus x squared plus 1 times x squared plus 3. So we have 4x to the fifth plus 12x to the third minus x to the fourth uh, minus x minus 3x squared plus x squared plus 3. And that should give us 4x to the fifth minus x to the fourth plus 12x to the third minus 2x squared plus 3. Okay, so we have the first three terms of the dividend, which are 4x to the fifth minus x to the fourth plus 12x to the third. So, uh, so we are left here with minus 2x squared plus 3, which we must add to 4x squared plus x plus 2 to obtain 2x squared plus x plus 5. So 4x squared minus 2x squared is 2x squared. X, uh, it doesn't add up with anything else here, so we are left with X and X. And 2 plus 3 is up to 5. So that way we have finished uh, the exercise set corresponding to uh, divisions. In the next video, we will work on uh, simplifications.